Meantime, new at five, are your smoke detectors working? Removing or disabling your smoke detector because of a smoky dinner that keeps tripping the sensor could be dangerous. So 12 on your side's Marilyn Wartz takes a look at the most common false alarm triggers and what you can do about that and which detectors to look for. It's annoying those false alarm chirps or piercing sounds from your smoke detector. But if you're tempted to disable it, that's a risky move. Always assume there's a fire. When you determine that it's safe, then you can get to the root cause. Some of the things that will cause an alarm to go off are dying batteries, steam from a shower, dust, or even spiders inside the alarm. First, the easy fix, the battery. Replace it every six months. If it's sealed inside, replace the unit every 10 years. To reduce other alarm triggers, it helps to understand how detectors work. There are two main types, photoelectric and ionization. Photoelectric alarms respond to particles in air created by smoldering fires or steam showers. They're less prone to false alarms caused by cooking, so consider them for areas near kitchens. Ionization alarms are triggered by the open flames, so an active kitchen will often produce false alarms. They're better installed near steamy bathrooms. For the best protection, Consumer Reports recommends dual sensor alarms that use both types of technology throughout your home. They recommend this first alert or this Kid A alarm. Those models are on our website. And one detector isn't enough. Experts say you should have one in each bedroom, outside each sleeping area, and one on each level of your home. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.